I got the ice chest, there's beer, there's two days worth of food in here in the front of the truck, change of clothes, uh, sleeping mat, my life bucket, this is everything I'm going to need, fix a flat, extra water, straps, there's a winch in here, a rock pick, I found these out in the middle of the desert, it was like if you were out here, you came upon this. Normally I don't take anything because if it's like in a uh, ghost town because it's not polite, but these were just laying there. This was the treasure right here. Look at this thing, man. How cool is that? Just laying out there. The chances of me finding that. Of course, first aid kit, propane tank, extra wood, a little burner stove there, chair, some gasoline. Normally I bring five pounds, this time I only brought one. Um, it's never leave a town without at least a half gallon of a half tank of gas. Because you just never know what side of somewhere. Some Home Depot buckets, stuff in there. food, a rake, pick, shovel, tools. I could build a house with all the tools in that box. in my toe strap. I know it's only two wheel drive, but I've never gotten stuck. Okay, in front of the car, back here, I've got my winter jacket, a sweat jacket, a sleeping bag, jumper cables, Ajax bleach, which just ended up in my car somehow, guitar, sweet rolls, guidebooks. I wasn't sure where I was going to be in California or Nevada. So I brought both my guidebooks. These maps books are great. You cannot trust GPS out here. So I bought, bring these books to me and I'm constantly finding, figuring out where I am. And down there below the guitar is a pump for air for the tires. Many people say, why do you carry your guitar like that? And I said, well, the close, the further away it is from the case, the more likely you are to play it. Anyways, this is where I am right now. I've got to show my heavy duty boots too. My heavy duty boots are the ones I wear if I get in trouble. Usually I don't get in trouble. Okay, and tell me out in the desert, you see something like this, you know there's water close by. I smell cows, definitely. Here's a water trough. Oh, the cows love this. Now, the other thing you want to be looking for when you're out in a place like this is for cat feet. Because there will be cats out here. Depending on the size of them, he'd have a pretty good battle with me. But he would probably still win. Oh, look at this. Okay, so you got a big old raven flying away over there. Or vultures. So there's something over here that they're enjoying for dinner. 
beautiful hill right here. So the spring is up in here somewhere. Water flows down. You got this water trough. Another one. I wouldn't drink this water. Not like the spring I found the other day. Oh, that water feels good though. Enough to stick your hat in it. Put it on your head. So the crows were standing on this pile right here. It obviously looks like a man pile. Or a man-made pile. A lot of cow footprints in here. I don't see any cattle, of course. That's the road I'm going up. Maybe this is the crow's nest. Good! I don't know. I know you probably got pavement at the bottom of the valley down there. All right. So, once again, slowly the road. I took a road so blocks. I know it's windy outside, so it's probably gonna be super noisy. Anyways, so we were talking earlier about shot up old cars out in the desert, and we found this baby. Wow. Let's take a look, see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna say 50s model based on the round roof and the round hubs say looks kind of foreign because of the small size it is a sedan let's see for some reason it looks i think it's foreign i don't think it's american maybe a renault or something oh, gas tank fill in the back here nice chrome bumpers oh man can't see anything Okay, steering wheel. Wow, nice. Look at this. How sweet. Let's see if we can see anything here that might tell. Nope, no gauges. There's an ashtray in here. Let's see. No insignias. Come to the front of the car, there might be something there. Oh, the insignias are gone. Damn. Oh, this thing's beautiful though, right? Oh good, they have an oil pan underneath there just in case. Jeez, man, someone shot the hell out of that thing. Anyways, shot up old cars in the desert are so much fun. Oh. Some people will use cars as a mileage post saying, yeah, go 10 miles past the blue car. Oh man, I can't see anything that tells me what kind of car it is. If it's American, I would, I'd say Buick. But I think think it's got I think it's foreign it's so small for this year I remember the first time you broke American down and you shifted your gears I remember the first time I made love it hurts me bad when you break down. okay well I just came upon a beautiful valley filled with green grass cattle out there feeding By the side. then I came upon this little ranch it's in excellent condition it's right off the highway there's not too much out here other than this ranch but uh, there's no graffiti there's no garbage it's super super clean so let's go take a look at some of these buildings here see what we come up with Okay, looks like we have a little storage unit right here. 
for something. We got the brick, the rock, and the wood. Okay, watching out for snakes. Some birds have been following me around. Okay. So watch the road. Okay. Here's some graffiti right there. Wow, look at this. Oh, it is so cool in here. The temperature is fabulous. There's the stovepipe coming through the roof. And the rock wall. Wow. Look at the lumber uh, header up there. And the lumber beams with the thatch roof. Wow. And a little window for light. Okay, a little something on the shelf there. This is the pantry area with screens on it. You see some things have been nesting in here. Wow, okay. It feels like old adobe rock, just mud brick. Okay. Next, we're coming out to the main house, it looks like, or the barn. Got a nice wood uh, metal roof on it. This again, this place is so clean. It's starting to fall over a little bit. This was of a newer construction, obviously. They have the cut lumber. Looks like something was trying to build a nest up in the loft. Stovepipe well. Can't tell if these windows had glass on it or not, but it is a raised floor, and here's an old furnace for it. Wow, the adobe building is right next door. You can see it's built into the earth. Oh, check this out. Okay. see him on the screen it's a lizard yeah it's like an eagle was building a nest something was maybe an owl you can see all the wood up there so here you have some kind of underground bunker over here a pile of scrap. Just looks like a pile of pallets right there. There's the old garbage dump. Oh man, this place is beautiful. Wow. There are no contrails in the sky close by. There's some north, but otherwise, no airplanes. Okay. Oh, there's an eagle flying over there, being harassed by a little bird. Here's a little dugout. Not sure if I can get in there, but I don't think I need to try either. Maybe storage. Okay. Here's a piece of pressure treated wood. Kind of helps with the aging and the dating. What's inside here? Okay, so somebody had a campfire, but look at how clean it is. You got the mud packed rock walls. There's the stovepipe finish. Wow. Man, you could spend a whole life in here. In the doorway, of course, I have to always duck because the heading is so small. So obviously, this is a cattle ranch with that pasture right there. 
Here's the cattle facility over here. Okay, what do we got here? It's an axle and maybe a tow truck or some kind of lift. Small crane, there's a thrasher right there. Okay, so this looks like the main house. Gorgeous. There's a field out here where the cows are pasturing. This is just beautiful piece of property right here. Okay, cow shit everywhere, as there should be. Okay. So this looks like it's two, oh, there's a connecting room inside. Little storage. All the birds are freaking out because I'm near their nest. As you can see, it was a stone foundation, raised subfloor. Okay. And in the background, there's someone carved a little seat right there. How cute. Okay, so we're going to go in the backyard now. Okay. Oh, look at that beautiful lizard. Gone. Okay, now you got to really be careful in here. Of course, I wore my good hiking sandals. But you don't want a nail going through your foot. You don't want to, you want to watch out for rattlesnakes. So my guess would be that this was the original building here. The old stone building. And they built this out first and then they used lumber second. But this is magnificent. Look at the keystone and the archway for the headers. Wow. I think I showed you back there, there was the graffiti that was carved into the rock. It said 1949. So I'm looking for more dates. I'm trying to walk through here carefully. Wow, this is so pretty. There's the bird. He's squawking around because he doesn't want me here. This one still has the screen on it. It's all ripped. Hello, screen. Okay, important thing when you're out here, don't break anything, don't take anything. I did take something out of the desert the other day that I thought was pretty cool, but it was out in the middle of nowhere. And I, the fact that I found it, it's an old Aunt Jemima syrup can. Okay. And back here, you have some interesting rock features. And there's a fence. I got this little carved out rock feature right here. I'm not sure if that fence is to keep something in or something out. There is lots of water here. Wow, look at that big, beautiful rock here. Look at this one right here. Jesus. Man, to get the thing in place. <laughs> oh. Wow. Nice. Okay. So walking through the pasture. One of the things you always look for out here is paper to see if you can find the date of the person last here living. Receipts or something like that. But so far, everything is really clean. Okay. Coming up here to a hole in the ground. This looks like it was the well. There's a nice chest down there. Definitely water. A little cleaning elbow would be perfect get water piece of plyboard over here for something Let's see the ply okay fence line went over here now we're gonna go over to this barn like structure here 
so you can see where we are. There's my truck up on the hill, water tank. Okay, once again, the barn or whatever is a rock building with lumber trusses and beams. They weren't milled. Okay. Oh, you have some sawn lumber here for the for the fascia pieces. Okay. And obviously, this was a barn or a holding pen for animals. Oh, look at this piece of pot pottery I found here. Okay, let's see if I can take a look at this. See how pretty it is? Okay. Now here's a plate someone left behind. Let's see if I can put it in the sun somewhere. Okay, so these were obviously stock holding pens. There's a little notch right here. Not sure what that was for. Why they built it out. Of course, this is a window here. Stacked rock. And <laughs> Just using trees for beams. Okay. These doors have collapsed. There's a can holding bin. Okay. And then we're going to go out to the cattle pen. So I found this place just driving down a dirt road. And as much as you want to look at Google Maps to find stuff, man, it's so hard. Sometimes you just get come here and get lucky. So here's the holding pen. These fences are pretty nice. So they're not too old. Back in the background, you can see the cattle shoot. Okay. Okay, look at this side here. Door won't open more. Then you do not want to surprise anything out here. Okay, so here is the holding pen for metal objects or paperwork or something. Let's see if we can see anything in here. Nope, just a bunch of nests. How cool they are. U-bolt. Looks like they had sheetrock on the roofs at some point or on the walls, maybe the ceiling. A little broken glass here. Let's see it on the ground. So they did have glass windows. All right. Again, wearing sandals with socks. I brought three pair of shoes with me. One is my sandals, which is the only shoes I've worn for the last three days. I've got my regular shoes in case I need extra protection, and I've got my heavy duty boots. My, what I call my emergency boots. I only put them on when it's an emergency. So, this is really beautiful out here. It's a perfect example of a well-preserved ghost town. Without a lot of garbage, people have been respectful of it. It's clean. 
Wish there were some more shot up cars out here because those are always fun to look at. Try to figure out which ones they are. All right, look at the little lizard running across the road. Can you see him? Let's see what you got right here. Hell yes, TV is king. Unless it's a microwave. Nice. This is a beautiful ranch. I love the old adobe brick. Rock wall. And again, how cool it was in here. How cool it was. Wow, it's gorgeous. Dude, it doesn't get better than this for finding ghost towns. Except for not enough shot up cars. Those are always the fun ones. Okay, maybe someone will take a couple shots at my car and provide that extra piece of reality. And this is the ranch. People loved out here, people hated out here, people had children out here, people died out here. And literally, I'm probably, what I came from, the last town I came from was about 40 miles away, which wasn't much of a town anyways. All right. One thing I won't do, take her off the road. Take her off the road It wouldn't be the same Without you